Southern Wisconsin is turning to solar power no, now more than ever. It's a big part of Madison's push to be powered 100% by renewable energy sources by 2030. But does it actually make sense around here? Will climate change make the future of solar power in our area a bit cloudy? Meteorologist Dave Caulfield finds out. It's a story you'll only see on News 3 Now. From homes to businesses and even schools, southern Wisconsin is in the midst of a palpable power shift. Solar power is getting its time in the sunlight. And, and then growing at 30% a year or so, um, it could become, you know, a pretty substantial technology. And, you know, there's studies that say solar could be 50% of our electricity within 10 or 15 or 20 years. Greg Nemet is a UW professor of public affairs. He's been studying solar energy for about 20 years. He says the reason for the spike in demand for solar is that costs keep coming down. But in the last couple of years, people are starting to install solar because it's a cheap way of making electricity. Madison Mayor Satya Rhodes-Conway agrees. The economics of solar makes sense for almost anyone. Anyone, including city leaders. Madison officials plan to install one megawatt worth of solar panels on city facilities by next year. They're also working with MG&E to purchase five megawatts of power from a local solar farm that will meet about 20% of the city's electricity load. For Rhodes-Conway, investing in solar isn't just about economics. It's about environmental impact as well. So everything that we can do at the city level and here in the community in Madison is important. Um, and it's all about reducing emissions. Madison, however, can often suffer from a lack of sunshine. From January through September of 2019, less than one out of every five days has featured clear skies. Nemet says southern Wisconsin already comes into the fight with a costly disadvantage. So just because we're living further north and in a cloudier place, solar is twice as expensive here as it would be in Phoenix, Arizona, or some other sunny place. So on a cloudy day, you could have less than half of the electricity that you would on a sunny day. But what if the cloudy trend continues in Madison in the future? So that's a big, big question, actually, in climate science right now, is what will the role of clouds be? UW meteorologist Jonathan Martin says a warmer world due to climate change will definitely mean more water vapor will be available in the atmosphere. This will translate to more frequent heavy rain events across southern Wisconsin. However, it's unclear what that will mean for sky conditions. We don't really know in terms of cloudiness what we'll get in the future. Nimitz says while he's keeping an eye on climate trends, he doesn't view the potential for more cloudy days as a big risk. But a sudden change in sky conditions because of a thundercloud, for example, is a different story and can have a major impact on energy output. If you've got a really big solar farm and a thundercloud in, say, five or ten minutes covers that up and the output goes from 100 percent to, say, 25 percent, all of a sudden that's maybe 100 megawatts of electricity you don't have that needs to be made up elsewhere. Nemet says that while manageable, the grid needs to deal with changes in power output due to Mother Nature more effectively than it does now. Despite these challenges, experts say solar is here to stay in southern Wisconsin. And with dozens of projects either already online or in the pipeline, southern Wisconsin will be chasing the sun for years to come. I think that really shows that um, solar is for real now and that people are installing solar because it's the cheapest way to make electricity. And in a place like Wisconsin even. And so I think I would expect to see more of that. In Madison, I'm meteorologist Dave Caulfield for News 3 Now. Well, Greg also added that the type of clouds that Wisconsin sees in the future will play a big role in not only the amount of solar energy produced, but also in how much warming the area sees due to climate change. It was